Hello and welcome to what is a Vlogtober part three. So obviously, um, October the 3rd, this is my storage room. Look at the state of it. <sighs> I keep getting kind of on top of things, but then it goes wrong. So all of this here is Lego. <sighs> it, it just... The majority of it, most of it should probably go on and not be something that I'm like sorting, so it just shouldn't be here. Uh, that's like clothes. I think that they're like stains. My trouble is, is that it's been sat on top of there and I've had to move it. And, and then there's stuff there which needs sorting. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, and now I've got two lids. So obviously we've got the oven. So I've saved the cardboard because it's essential that I save the cardboard. Uh, and I feel terrible this morning. I just keep sneezing and sneezing. I sneeze most mornings. And I think that's probably just a result of the fact that it's so dusty and horrible in my apartment. And I'm allergic to dust as part of having asthma. And I'm doing myself no favours. <laughs> so I've only got a few things to pull for post literally only six it's like been it's just been a really shit weekend of sales because some of those are friday sales so i've got to pull all the stops out this week and sort sort this out so i'm going to pull what i've what's been paid for there's stuff that's sold that hasn't been paid for so let's pull out what i'm going to do for the post because i think i need to shoot off to the post office just for the sake of exercise, it might wake me up. Right, pull my stuff out. I'm still sneezing. This is ridiculous. I've taken antihistamine. It's just, it's just dirty. It is just dusty in here. And that's because I'm not on top of anything. It just feels like... You know when you've like got shelves and you're like, mm, do I really need all that stuff on that shelf? And uh, then you ignore it. But all you've done, all, all you've got is really just a big dust trap of stuff which you don't need. <laughs> it's just causing your allergies. So, yeah, I'm really like going to be keyed up for doing stuff today. So I'm going to. Also, I don't. It says that it's sunny today, so it'll be good light for photos. And then it says that it's raining for the rest of the week. Um, but who can believe that? Because it never sticks to what it says. So I've got a pair of chinos here, which is from the um, bulk that I bought. Now, the reason I've let these go for like really cheap at £13, because the reason that I get them um, so cheap to resell is because they've got all flaws on them. So those I've repaired. I think they've already gone out once to some other dickhead who then like returned them. But a lot of the stuff which I've got left is like, it's like stuff that would only fit Danny DeVita. It's like massive waists and short legs. And if you get an offer for them, you just think, well, that <laughs> the chances of this man turning up once is very slim. So let's take the offer. Um, a pair of Gant chinos. These have been sat around for ages. Most of my stuff has been sat around for ages because I literally haven't listed any new clothes for... at least a month if not six weeks yeah not any yeah not any decent stuff because the stuff that i'd work through was a lot of um repair jobs so they just went on auction so somebody sent me an offer of 15 on them so i took that because i took that you know i've had a lot of like offers this weekend on things which I probably so I could have had more sales if it'd been like willing to let things go. You see my nose is pouring again. It's this nostril. I don't know what the I don't know what the crack is. And because I've been honking my nose so much I've got like black heads. So I put one of those strips on my nose this morning. <laughs> and I I couldn't even last the like I couldn't even last five minutes, let alone the 10 or 15 minutes that I needed to have this thing on. So it was very annoying. Um, 
when I did the stock take of all my men's jumpers, I put a load on auction and this is one of the ones actually this sold last week, uh, probably Wednesday, no Thursday, but they didn't pay until the weekend. Uh, that's just white stuff. Yeah, I don't think there's much of a market really for men's white stuff. That's only gone for a tanner. And now I'm going to have to hog my nose again. <sighs> so I'm going to have to go and then just edit. Uh, I feel I feel absolutely chaotic because of this nose thing. I just I sound like a nutcase. I don't think I've got a cold. I don't think I've got a cold. But I mean, you wouldn't know now. I think coughs and colds just seem to be really. They seem to be quite hybrid now. I suppose we went to B and Q, which is a different mix of people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or we went to we went to the dump, didn't we, to get rid of the oven? So you know, maybe we've got like typhoid or something. I don't know. <laughs> Literally, we just came in, drove in, threw this fucking oven over the side, and then left. So. I can't imagine that we've been exposed to anything, but you know, right, this here, I know what you're thinking, it's winter, what is this doing here? I'd like to know what this is doing here, because I picked this up in like June, so in the depths of like the heat wave, I put this on auction, this is a linen dress, nice and spacious, pockets, it's made in Italy, this is my problem with made in Italy, I see other people, particularly that Sartora Lista, which I know that she's like, you know, wonderful and got a big following. But I just think, how can she get £40? She would get 40 to 50 for this and I can't get 10 So I, this has been on auction for 10 over the summer months with no interest. Starting at £10 bids, nothing. Um, I had an offer for six, so I took it because it's... A, you know, the chances of me selling a linen dress over the winter is like so slim, but it's just so annoying. This is the trouble with eBay is it's like, you know, I know that a lot of you guys will come on here and like listen to what I've got to say, but you know, just because I can sell things doesn't mean that other people can. It's so, it's so swings and roundabouts for everybody. Yeah really weird so i'll probably be back on not picking up stuff i mean i've got another made in it i don't know i've got more than that because there's other stuff which i've picked up you know and like stuff that's death pile stuff which i should have listed ages ago but you know it seems like a cracking idea and you think other people can sell it it's obviously got a good price and then you come back with it and then you're stuck with it and it's like millstone round your neck um this is another one, one that was a millstone around my neck which i think is a really nice jumper you know um obviously a bit cropped um but very long sleeves my photos were nice everything was nice about it this always had loads of watches i had it on buy it now for 20 pounds um obviously this has gone on a refresh because um i'm I've got this 50% fees offer at the moment, which expires on the 9th, hence why this week I have to do loads and loads of work. But um, somebody sent me an offer of 12 for this, so I took it because it has been kicking around for ages. It's always had a lot of watches, but it's it's that brand that I can't shift as well and other stories. So that's what that is. And I've bought all the wrong poly bags and now I've only got a mini poly bag left. Uh, and I'm struggling to get through this because of my stupid nose. So luckily I didn't sell that much so I can like shut this video off in a minute and go and honk my nose. Uh, the last thing I have sold is this, which is obviously a Lego set, a space Lego set with instructions. That's gone for £12.99. Um, I think that's an offer that I've sent. I've noticed that my sales dropped off, so I had a coupon that was running all the way through September, it's called September's Stardust Savings or something like that. So the moment that ended, my sales seemed to last fall off a cliff. So, you know, I'm loath to have to like run another coupon 
trouble with me is I don't do promoted listings. I know that a lot of people do promoted listings, but I just think, no, that sounds like it, that sounds like extended warranty and all this other garbage. And I won't fall for extended warranties. <laughs> yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's exactly how I feel about it. So this jumper here is the first thing I've sold on that 50% off offer because this is I did a stock take of all my jumpers and I ended and relisted, sold similar. Um, so that has gone on that. So that means I've only got one thing out of a hundred. Uh, and yeah, now I've got to go to the post office. Hopefully the walk will do me good. My nose will stop running. I'll come back feeling refreshed and I'll better get on with things. And oh, oh, I hate myself. This is, I, I, this is either because I'm ill or because I'm messy and I'm inclined to think it's because I'm messy and I've got a dirty apartment <laughs> right I'm, I'm gonna go and have the exercise that I need so it's a new memorial um, mural it is a memorial that's gone up we have a lot of these on the buildings this is Trafford not not Hume this is something this isn't something that Manchester City Council do this is something that Trafford Council do. So this is actually in memorandum of some uh, kid that died last year. So that's uh, that's the guy. That's quite cool actually, isn't it? Sunrise and sunset. Okay, I am back. I have made a coffee. My nose is still crap. <laughs> I have opened the door to see if because maybe it's just a bit ugh, in here and it just needs a bit of fresh air because it's been so cold it's been too cold to have the door open yeah and i mean i've got a t-shirt on I'm, I'm okay so yeah that muriel um and the in memorandum that happened last year um so anybody who remembers the 90s will remember um moss side had a really good reputation in the, in the 90s for gun crime but there is still a lot of gangs around here so that's what that is that's why he died at like the age of 17 18 he was stabbed to death by his friends or rival friends i don't know they were all in bit stolen bmws and chasing each other around the streets and then they started yeah they caught up and somebody got stabbed and i think I think at the beginning of this year, probably like about April, something like that, I think they put away the people who, the two kids who were responsible for the stabbing. So that's what that is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nice around here. It really is. <laughs> we get a lot of this. Um, we have problems with our parking gates here and there's a lot of car theft and there's a lot of this around here and it's and it's quite it's quite hectic really you can be hearing them racing rounds at night when we used to live over in Southwark Keys we used to hear all this street racing and we wondered where it lived where where it happened and now we live where it happens and they they literally come down our road because we've only got like minor speed humps so they come down us all the time so that's what that is anyway I have got some juice in case i mean i think maybe i have got something you know like i've got a bit of a cold or something because i've got a bit of a sore throat so i've got some light juice this one's mango i have got other juice in there um i have got that for lunch because i do like these but i don't like the price three pounds 35 this is now this used to be 99p I mean, there's inflation and then there's inflation. This is just retarded. And I know I know that Tesco are just rip-off merchants because one of the things I went, we had a curry yesterday and I hadn't bought any nan breads 
because obviously we didn't know if we were going to have an oven or not and you kind of need an oven to have naan breads so i shot out to the local shop to get those big naan breads that you can get and number one they've got more choice here they're the same brand and they're only like 99p whereas in um tesco they're 199 so how does that work it just doesn't make sense because tesco have got more buying power for this than my local shop but so they're obviously not passing the savings on they're just money makers <laughs> so yeah that just doesn't impress me and this is one of the reasons as well why i don't shop at marks and spencers anymore because marks and spencers used to do a lot of stuff like that um when I used to live in South Keys and they, they opened a new food hall there and it, people weren't aware of it. So I used to go there of an evening and get stuff for like 10p. Well, that doesn't happen anymore. I mean, I keep talking about things that are happening like 10 years ago. So I well, was a bloody feather in that. <laughs> yeah. So the other thing that I've got is um, two things, uh, two salmon things, which are £3 each. Which I really could have done with last week when we were air frying all our food so it's never never what you need last week all the stuff was like oven baked stuff so it was in the reduced section and i was like why <laughs> where's the salmon right my quest now is to list a whole load of lego i've got loads and loads of it here all these sets which are bagged up so i photograph them and then i've got this section here and those are my um self-sealed bags so i've got all of that which needs photographing there is a video coming of this it's just because i've decided to do vlogtober i'm not having to like save up my videos because i know it's going to become a pain in the ass at some point so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to photograph all that i need to get out of the way i can't do any clothing stuff until i've moved all this because i'll just end up flicking this around and let's face it I need to get it up and out of the way before it gets dusty. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to list all of this now. I'm not going to schedule them because I've obviously got this offer, this fee offer, which is valid until the night. So I need to get as many things that can be classed as new listings, even though a lot of that will be a stock take. I need to get as much of it on before Sunday as possible. And I, I and it'll give my shop a good jump start because it's become very stale. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna see if I can get all of this on. So <laughs> let's see. <laughs> this is very optimistic, but one, I think this is the thing is that once you get into workflow, you get a lot done. And you know, Lego's not that not that difficult to photograph and list once I once once I'm once I'm in flow I'll get all this on okay it's just coming up six um I did stop at five o'clock and I've been sort of classing about a bit um I haven't stopped stopped because I've got lots of stuff here which I've photographed so I photographed all my lego so I've got another 15 sets there I think if not more to do um, to list so they're all photographed ready um, I have listed 12 like I says and I've already sold four of them <laughs> so this is why I do Lego so one of them I thought was only a £20 set and when I looked at the completed and the rest of it and the history on it it was more like a £50 set so I put that on for 50 thinking mm, is it and it's immediately sold within an hour so I've got 50 for that and then somebody else has just spent um, another 150 with me, I think. So they bought a fire station for 30, a bus station for 15, which I let them have it for 15, because there's a few flaws with it. Um, and he also bought the castle that I had, which was a hundred pound. He sent me an offer for a hundred pound and I accepted that. That's fine by me, fine by me. Um, much better when you can just send it all together so yeah i'm going to carry on listing my lego and yeah lots and lots of lego yeah hopefully i'll sell some more of these today even that person who has just bought some stuff he might well add some more things to his basket um i've got the money for all these it's not just like 
you know, finger in the air. <laughs> have they, um, are they going to pay? Are they going to pay? So my nose is like still awful. I have got a cold. My husband's come back from work. He's feeling terrible. So I think we've both got a cold. But anyway, I'm going to carry on with this. Have baked potato with the remainder of the curry um, as a topping. And hopefully that will start to feel better. But, uh, anyway, I will wrap this vlog up and uh, see you again tomorrow. So thank you for watching. And if you could subscribe, that would be nice. And all the other jazz. Yes. So thank you. And I'll see you soon.